What's up guys, Toya here and welcome to Catastic. If you're anything like me, you're probably always trying to find new toys for your fur babies. Other than their few favorite toys that they keep coming back to every now and then, most of their toys just end up in their toy box and they never touch them again. Now this particular toy it kept popping up on my Facebook feed, on my recommended from Amazon. It just kept popping up and I said, you know what, I might as well just go ahead and give it a try, see what's up and see if my cats are gonna enjoy it. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Today we're gonna be talking about the Floppy Fish Cat Toy. So the Floppy Fish Cat Toy is an interactive toy that's activated by motion. Our floppy fish cat toy will keep your kitty entertained for hours with its flopping and dancing moves. This amazing motion activated cat toy combines soft cotton fresh catnip and realistic fish design that will take your cat's playtime into the next level. We wanted to create the perfect toy for cats to stimulate their natural hunting instincts and to release the extra energy with healthy exercise. It also helps to eliminate separation anxiety when you are not home with hours of enjoyable playtime. Don't miss out. Spoil your kitty now with our Floppy Fish Interactive Cat Toy and join the thousands of happy pet owners around the world. So pretty much it's a soft cotton toy that looks like a fish. It's about the size of an actual fish. Inside there is a motor that is activated by touch. So anytime it's in the on position and you touch it, it's gonna flop around. The motor just has an on and off button and it has a port for USB charging. So what's included is pretty straightforward and there isn't much assembly required. So you're going to get the floppy fish itself, it's going to have the motor included. You're going to get the USB charger, a user manual, and then a catnip pouch. The only thing you'll have to do is unzip the pouch, turn the fish in the on position, and if you want you can add the catnip pouch or your catnip of your choice. Now I ended up purchasing mine from Amazon so I got a scratch off coupon code card. I don't know if that's included in every single purchase across all sellers on Amazon. I just wanted to point that out. So just in case you don't get that, don't be surprised. I don't think it's actually supposed to be included. It just depends on what seller that you are purchasing it from. So my cat's reaction initially, they were a bit timid. They seemed like they were a little scared of the fish flopping around. I don't usually purchase interactive toys like that that do their own moving. So it was a bit of a shock to them. Now, Milo did eventually start playing with it. So, you know, he would start stepping on it, biting it, uh, rolling it around, and he, 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 got, he did his thing, okay? He, he was cool with it. Ringo, on the other hand, he seems to prefer it when it's not moving. So I would go ahead and just turn it in the off position and he would go ahead and play with it from there. Now, something I forgot to mention before, as I stated, the fish itself is motion activated. So when you have the fish in the on position, it's gonna flop around, flop around, and then it'll stop. It'll stop until it detects its next motion. So if it's just laying there, nothing, nobody's doing anything to it, it's just gonna lay there. When you touch it, it's gonna start flopping around again. So Ringo didn't really like that motion. So he would see it being stationary. He would kind of, you know, scope it out, see what's up. And he touches it and it starts moving. He's like freaking out. So that just wasn't his thing. So if he wanted to play with it, I'll just go ahead and leave it in the off position. And like I said, Milo, he seems to be the one that actually likes the toy for what it is. So if Milo wants to play, I'll turn it on. If Ringo wants to play, I go ahead and turn it off. Now this toy is going to require a tad bit of upkeep, not too much, but just wanted to point this out. So you are going to have to charge this thing eventually. You can take the USB cable that it came with, plug it into the fish, and then plug it into either a computer with a USB slot. I have a surge protector with USB slots, so I can just plug it directly into there and it charges. If you don't have that, you can just take a brick from, you know, like a phone charger or something like that and plug it in there and plug it into the wall. It's gonna take about an hour to charge and it'll last about three days or so. Just depends on how frequently the motor is being used. I found that it's actually lasted about a week. In some cases, if they barely play with it or if I, you know, turned it off in between um, play sessions, it, it just depends on your usage. So the motor is gonna illuminate a red light when it is charging and when it is fully charged, it will turn green. 
you do also have the ability to wash this fish so if it gets kind of icky dirty whatever you can go ahead and wash it so you can hand wash it you can throw it in your washer just make sure you go ahead and take out the motor you can slide the motor right on out go charge the motor while it's washing whatever you want to do but make sure you go ahead and take that motor out because if you wash it it's done it's done now let's talk about pricing pricing is gonna be uh kind of all over the place and this is this is the reason now you can purchase the floppy fish directly from the original seller they have their own website you can purchase it from them their price regular price is 40 bucks I believe they have a sale right now for half off so if you wanted to go directly to that seller you are welcome to I ended up purchasing it off of Amazon I got it on Prime Day and I got it for about 15 bucks regular price that seller was selling it for 30 I got it for half off at 15 there are a lot of other sellers that are selling this fish prices are gonna be all over the place some sellers have their own sales some sellers are just selling at regular price you just gonna go ahead and have to find the best deal that fits you depending on the seller that you want to purchase it from they are gonna be offering other types of fish so this fish the standard one is the carp they have goldfish they have koi they have shark they have a lot of different varieties so if you see a seller that maybe only has the original or maybe only two go see if you can find another seller if you're interested in the other skins now overall would I recommend this fish yes but I do have a few objections if somebody were to come to me and say hey I have this floppy fish you can buy it for 40 bucks I might be a little hesitant because I mean if the fish is 40 bucks I'm, I'm gonna be thinking like what's so special about it and to be quite honest all it is is just a plush toy that looks like a fish and there's a motor that makes it move it's really nothing spectacular like yes it's a good toy for my cats but I don't think it's worth that $40 price if you have no choice but to pay that full forty dollars from the original seller but if you wanted to purchase it from Amazon or even if the original seller has it half off like they do now would I say you can go ahead and purchase it yeah I would say get it at a discounted price I wouldn't pay 40 or 30 bucks for this 15 maybe 20 max would probably be my limit just because I wasn't really sure how my cats would react and I would say the same thing for you guys if you're not really sure if your cats gonna react to this toy well don't spend full price on it get it when it's on sale and then if they don't like it I mean it was what 10 15 bucks it's not too big of a deal unless you want to return it you're welcome to return it but you know it's not it's not a lot lost so I just wanted to go ahead and point that out I do recommend it but I do recommend it at a discounted price if you're not sure if your cat is gonna enjoy the toy alright guys with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and call it a video I hope this was helpful to someone and as always, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you are new. I will go ahead and catch you guys on the next video. I am out of here.